Fight commentary breakdowns here. So last year, we did a video where we found this apparent Kung Fu master, Wu Dang Dao Shi. He came down from the mountains and he fought some MMA guy and it looked like the MMA guy just was really dominated. So now, I found this Kung Fu master's actual identity. Let's see how he does against resisting opponents. What is the identity of the Kung Fu master? His real name is Wang Xiaojun. Wang Xiao Jun. He is 31. He is about six foot, maybe 5'11, and he's fighting a German dude, younger German dude. So let's see if his kung fu stands against an actual resistant kickboxer. 75 kilograms, which is about um 170? 170 pounds, I believe, guys. Let me know if I'm mistaken and how many pounds they're fighting at. Okay, so he obviously you can tell the reach advantage immediately. So Huh, where's the Kung Fu? Whoa, look at him having his chin out, man. Our Kung Fu master has his chin completely out. Dude, this is not, yeah, this is not going to work, man. When he's, when he's attacking, he's not defending. So, so this comment says, So they, this is claiming they're not the same weight class, which I kind of agree with. I don't think they're the same weight class, man. What's going on? Um, yeah, um, because this German guy isn't paid to just take hits, I think we see that the Kung Fu Master's technique is really lacking. He's just like a, he looks like a really bad kickboxer or a really bad Kung Fu, sorry, a really bad Sunda guy. So some guy who doesn't understand fighting says Dao Zhang is fighting really well. So his um Kung Fu name is Qing Feng Dao Zhang. Qing Feng, like the, the, the light winded, um, whoa, oh, he's already knocked down. Yeah, so Wang Xiaojun's his real name. Wang Xiaojun swinging a little bit of a haymaker. Oh, he does not know how to deal with these kicks. German guy doing a very good job of kicking from both his lead and his dominant sides. So he's, um, Dao Zhang's giving, getting a, this is his first standing count, but he's been knocked down already. So yeah, um, so now we can confirm those two fights where he was beating his opponents to a pulp look like they were completely fake, man. He caught the leg, but he didn't know how to do it. Take it. Ooh. He's... Oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness! Flying knee to the face, guys! I think that was it. That was it, man. Flying knee to the face, man. Woo! So let's look at the final part. So he catches the leg, right? And then... So I think that already hurt him. So... From my interpretation, that teep kick, that front kick that the German guy threw already hurt him. He was probably waiting for the ref to stop it, but, you know, the ref didn't see it in time, so he ate a flying knee to the face, man. This is the reality. This is the reality of his fighting ability. Not as impressive as those other fights where he was just beating his opponents like his kung fu was amazing. Man, are you as disappointed as I am? Because I thought we found an actual kung fu master last year when we first aired this video. A lot of times when Chinese people want to feel good about themselves, they'll pay a Japanese student to get beat up. So in this fight, our Qing Feng Dao Zhang, aka Wang Xiaojun, fights a Japanese kickboxer. So Japanese guy's right there. Ooh, Japanese guy, pretty heavy on his lead leg. Very interesting. So, um, ooh, ooh, okay. At least Wang Xiaojun, the Qing Feng Dao Zhang, the apparent Kung Fu master, Seems to be a little bit more um, aggressive, even going for a takedown. So, look at all the audience, man. They're like, this is our Kung Fu master. So, let's see. Right now, I think this is slightly more evenly matched. And I would even say that there is no weight, apparent weight class advantage or anything. Um, but, okay, he throws the Japanese guy. Not bad. So, either this Japanese guy was paid to give him a fight, or they're just evenly matched, you know? I do notice, um, he's not, oh, never mind. I was going to say he's not, like, leading with his chin, but he was just doing that. I guess I just didn't see it. Ooh, good body punch by Japanese guy. So, looks like this one has clinching allowed. I don't know if the other one had clinching allowed. Maybe the German guy just didn't let him get into clinch range, because the German guy was a good kicker. I don't know. Um, Japanese guy doing a good job, um, throwing quite a few punches to the body. 
Look at all. Look at the, the cuts to the audience. Our Qing Feng Daozhang, the Kung Fu Master, is Southpaw. I don't see him use his Southpaw to his advantage right now. He's kind of just, just, you know, swinging blows. Ooh, okay. So they just clinched. I think the Japanese guy threw a little knee at him. Oh, that, that straight connected. The Japanese guy doesn't have that much power in his punches, man. So, oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Oh, he's in the pocket. Let's see how he deals with the pocket. They're clinched. I don't know why they keep coming back to those two ladies. Are those his mom or his coaches or his Tai Chi masters or something? I don't know. But, so, okay, that was, he lasted, passed around. So, showing some replays. You know, he's got some wide haymakers. He's trying to throw combos. I don't know how effective he is. And... This was a takedown we saw. Xu Xiaodong says that the guy's just a Sanda fighter who they put on Kung Fu Garb to make that video that we featured last year. So we all got huyoed. Huyo in Chinese means kind of like defrauded or we all got we all got lied to. Um that was a lazy he 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 um he kind of spun around after he failed that kick, man. You can't can't be lazy like that. <clears throat> oh, okay. Alright. So, hmm, I think the Japanese guy has some figured out, man. Watch, see, look at look at the Japanese guy angling. Finally, Japanese guy has some figured out. Look at that, huh? He, I think he's got him figured out. What do you guys think, dude? Why? Why is our Kung Fu Master dropping his hands now? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. He's acting like it's no big deal. He's at like, my chi. Oh, good. Front kicks, man. Keep throwing front, front kicks, Kung Fu Master. So he, he was acting like, yeah, my chi blocks, protects my neck. So. Oh! Oh! You see what I'm talking about? I think the Japanese guy has not figured out, man. Oh, oh! Just angle off and hit him. I think that's that's all you need to do. I think the Japanese guy hasn't figured out. Just angle off and hit him, because our kung fu master got no angles. You see, our kung fu master got no angles. Just angle off and hit him. That's all you learned. Like basic boxing 101. He he learned it. <laughs> and also, um. It's like, for some reason, Kung Fu Guy likes to lead with hooks sometimes. So when he hooks, he just like duck it and angle off and hit him. Let's say it like that. <laughs> oh, dude, he got him figured out. You see? He got him figured out. Just, he's, he, his hooks are kind of telegraphed, right? So make sure you duck it. Uh, dude, he's figured him out. Um, this is Wu Lingfeng, the, the promotion. Um... So there, there's quite a few promotions in China, right? There's Wu Lingfeng, there's Kunlun, um, there's Andy Pai's Art of War. There's a bunch of other ones. There's, um, I believe, something called Road FC or something. There's quite a lot. So um, I, I don't know which one is known to have fake matches. And I'm not going to pretend I know. But <clears throat> this one doesn't look that fake, man. The, the Kung Fu Master's trying. He's really trying. Look at You see him grab onto the ropes to get some balance? So that was the end of the second round. Wow, dude, this went past the second round. See, look at that. Look at that. So they really are showing. See, they really are showing um, some of the highlights. That's the ring girl from the next round. I know a lot of you want to see ring girl, so I will purposely put it very small. The third round. Could this be the last round? I don't know. But um, round three, fight. So let's see if the Japanese guy continues what works or is he going to change up a strategy. Also, is our Kung Fu guy, Wang Xiaojun, who people like Xu Xia don't claim he's just a Sanda guy pretending to be a Kung Fu guy. Is he going to... Whoa, he's, he's stepping up his aggression. His chin is way high, but he's stepping up his aggression. Maybe that's the his change in strategy. I, his front kicks were working, man. If I were him, I'd throw more front kicks. I don't know how that happened. The camera cut as he was... Oh! He ate that right pretty bad. 
Huh. Oh, man. Dude, he better be careful. Japanese guy's looking for the knockout here. Oh, you see? Head movement and then a right. Man, he... He's, Japanese guy got the Kung Fu guy figured out. He claims he's okay. You're not okay, man. He probably should stop it. Guys, that's why you better do neck extension exercises every day. When you get your head knocked back like that, you got to have the muscles to be able to absorb it. Oh, that was a wide um, overhand right. Man. I guess they either... Oh! Oh! They, they might have um, not paid the Japanese guy enough, man, because the Japanese guy is fighting to win. Or, you know, this is not rigged. I don't know. But this Japanese guy is putting up more fight than normal. Like, you know, when Elon beats all the Japanese people or when any any Chinese fighter beats all the Japanese fighters, it's usually paid, right? But this case, it's like they, they said, let's just give this a real shot. Let's see how this Japanese guy. Oh, another overhand right. <laughs> look, at, look, at our, look at our Kung Fu Master so concussed, man. He's hiding. Oof. He's hiding his... He's, oh, oh, that was a body. He, his body's hurt. All right. Nope, nope, nope. Guys, wouldn't you just stop it here now? Unless they sold a lot of tickets. It's like we sold, we sold this extra because, you know, we overcharged because we needed people to see Kung Fu in action. So we have to make them fight more. Give them extra brand. See, he thinks he won. He thinks he won. Oh, that, that was the, that, look at that. Oh, and right here, right here, this one too. Look at this, look at this overhand right, right to the jaw. Oh, guys, do your neck exercises, man. Oh, they're going to give it to Japanese guy. It's got to be Japanese guy, but you know, this is Chinese promotions. We don't know, but uh, they, it's got to be. Yeah, they gave it to Japanese guy. So they were being fair. Wow, guys, that was, that was, um, that was something, man. That was something. Um... Uh, Basic lessons, guys. Basic lessons. Duck, angle off, hit. Or angle off, hit, right? Don't exchange directly in front of someone. That's what the Japanese guy figured out. He's like, oh, this, this guy doesn't seem to angle, and he seems to lead with his hooks. I mean, if you notice there, our Kung Fu Master would lead with his dominant hook. Right? Why would you do that, right? That's too telegraphed. The, the dominant hook comes at the end of a combo, or it comes in the middle of a combo. You don't lead with that. So, um, that's very interesting, guys. So, now we know the real story behind this Kung Fu Master. He's probably not a Kung Fu Master, just a guy who does Sanda, a low-level, a little bit, sorry, a low-level kickboxer who they dressed up in Kung Fu garb and paid him to beat up a few people. So, now we know what happens when Kung Fu gets actually pressure tested. Or, maybe this is a fake Kung Fu Master. I don't know, but Anyways, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns, and we are out. You know, guys, I couldn't help it. I found another match. I'm not going to watch all of it because, you know, we um already kind of saw what he's capable of. This is him against a Brazilian Oh, this Brazilian got some power in his punches, man. Ooh. So this is Wang Xiaojun. So this was a few years before those matches. This was early Wang Xiaojun. So um, let's jump forward. Let's see how he does against the Brazilian. So. Oh, okay. Oh, pretty good. Keep kicking at those legs, man. Ooh, oh, Brazilian took him down. So, um, hmm. All right. So, um, let's just jump forward. I feel like I lost steam, guys. I'm sorry. That's why I'm not going to cover this whole match. I kind of lost steam. So, Brazilian guy just... I don't know what that was, but he was... I see him working his jabs a lot, but one was dream. Oh, pretty good. Just one, two. Oh, trying to throw an axe kick, huh? Dude, the Brazilian guy, I think, has longer reach. So, our Kung Fu guy or Sandai guy, whatever you call him, Dude, why aren't you using your southpaw advantage, man? I, don't, I was going to say, throw some front kicks. Throw some side kicks. You know, use your legs. Look, look at look at, look at, at the height advantage. Huh. So, interesting. His fight style was different a few years before the fights we just saw. Oh, that was, that looked like it hurt. 
Good spin kick by Brazilian guy. Um. Oh, that and he, that um right hit, but the camera always cuts. Ooh, great little. Huh. It says um it says in the if you look at the background it says they're basically the same size everything same weight. Um. That was a very weak punch. Don't know what that is. Don't you know how to jab? I'm talking to the Kung Fu guy. Huh. This is WKF. Royal Kickboxing Federation, I think. I don't know. Um, anyways. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is not as exciting a match. So. Oh, uh, okay. This went to decision again. But anyways, I, I don't need to really cover this. I think we know that this guy is just a pretty, pretty amateur kickboxer and you know his kung fu master status doesn't seem to hold up i mean what is he doing as a southpaw i don't see him using a southpaw to his advantage anyways it doesn't matter um this was fight commentary breakdowns this time it's the actual ending Shang Tien Chi